Hispanic Heritage Month is underway. It's a time dedicated to celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of those whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South Americas. Joining me now in Studio A to talk more about this is artist Carl Asagueda and Executive Director of Red Bud Arts Center, Tanya Peterson. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is really exciting to share uh, with our audience. Talk to us about what we're, what we're we're talking about today. Absolutely. So uh, my name is Carlos Segueda. I am uh, Hispanic. My mom is his Mexican. My dad is from Honduras. He's an architect and that's where I get my creative uh, endeavors from. So my whole thing as an artist is because my job is to give you the viewer a new visual language. So what I do is I go to art galleries, I research and try to find what's new. But lately I've been seeing that the uh, frequency, the individuality of galleries it's kind of dormant, and I say this all in a peaceful way because it, it's just perfection. I want to see something new, so that's why I use these leather jackets and mainly... As your canvas, right? As my canvas. So uh, the other piece of the puzzle was, what do I like? And that's rock and roll. So rock and roll is Jimmy Page, right. uh, Keith Richards scarf, yeah. the boots, and the biker jacket. So fusing these two dualities together... Love it. I wanted to see the cause and effect, and what we have is the unconventional canvas, which is the painting on the leather jacket. Do you have a favorite? Uh, I, I love all of them. Mainly the one is my favorite is Miss uh, Stephanie over here. Correct? Miss Amy. <laughs> Miss Amy. Amy, I apologize. She goes by Stephanie too sometimes. Awesome. I'll go by whatever if I can keep this jacket. <laughs> yeah. It's stunning. It's so, stunning. It's so beautiful. And so you, Amy. So Thank, Thank you. you. I know. It's gorgeous. This one I it's buy uh, all my stuff straight from the Galleria. Whenever I buy product, I don't think it should be used. I think it should be brand new. So this white leather is inspired by uh, Picasso, Gustav Klimt, and uh, Hiran and Mr. Bosch. That one it's specifically. I love the pink and the white. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite. How, how many pieces of, of, of clothing have you created? I have about 21 pieces. Wow. Yeah, and I've already sold five. So it's wow. pretty crazy. The show is, has yet to start. Yeah, that's really incredible. Tanya, you must be so proud. And the collaboration here. Talk to us about uh, Red Bud Center. Um, so Red Bud Art Center is in the historic Houston Heights district. And uh, Carl came to us one day very excited with just <laughs> one jacket and he told us about the history and how he came about to doing this and um, myself and Gus Capriva, we were so excited that we gave him a show on the spot. And so he will have his first solo exhibition with us November 2nd. Wow, congratulations. And, um, yes, it's great. <laughs> and it's free and open to the public. And that will so, happen in the Heights at the, the Red Heights, Bud Arts Center. At Red Bud Arts Center, yeah. yes. Obviously, art means a whole heck of a lot to both of you. Okay. Talk to us about the roots and how you became involved with art. I'm going to start with you, Tanya, and then Carl, you can answer. Absolutely. Well, and then Amy, you're on, then you, you can answer. <laughs> I'm not answering anything, I'm just wearing this jacket. <laughs> so I came to art probably over 30 years ago. Wow. I started in photography and uh, I have an associate's degree in photography, worked as a photographer yeah. and then went on from there to uh, start at the gallery. And so I curate shows and I uh, help or we help Red Bud mm -hmm. Art Center. We do uh, help emerging and mid-career artists by giving them a platform, a space. A platform. That's right. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that's yes. really incredible. So you've taken your art to to be able to help others now, yes. all these decades later. Carl, when did you pick up the paintbrush? For me, I was born with it yeah. <laughs> when I came yeah. out of the womb. So painting, I've been painting my entire life. Pershing Middle School was when it really blossomed for me. At Pershing Middle School, I won the Silver Key Award in Houston. Oh, cool. So at that age, it was pretty uh, significant in, yeah. in my emotional state at that time, which was sixth grade. Yeah. So after that was high school. High school, I got the highest APR in the Houston ISD district. So it, it's always been a bright uh, light for me. I went into retail, tried to go into the normal world, and never worked out. So. Art was always the one calling me. Pulling you back, right? Yes, exactly. At high school, actually, when I would go, I was always a bad student. I would always paint and bribe my teachers with uh, paintings, so that's how I got through my high school career. <laughs> well, we're so, uh, we're so fortunate that you stuck with it in, 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 in showing and in seeing this today. It, it is really stunning. I absolutely love the details, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. And even Amy's jacket, I, I think it's just 
It's just. Yeah. It's so stunning. It's like beautiful. Like how long does it take you? So for me, the it takes me two months. But to do two months, it took me eight years to develop that speed and execution. Mm -hmm. And studying these historical artists, mm -hmm. uh, mainly Gustav Klimt, Hieronymus Bosch, Otto Dix, these individuals are rock stars to me and have a, uh, that frequency that I'm looking for. And then fusing it with rock and roll attire, which is the leather jacket, it's just an atomic bomb yeah. for the future. And you can pair these jackets, the, these articles of clothing with almost anything Well, you and say everything. that you hit the nail on the head because when you dress these up, like let's say Miss mm -hmm. Amy is beautiful with the skirt, everything's head yeah. to toe. If you dress it mm -hmm. down, let's say you have your sneakers, blue jeans, you yeah. actually look more advanced. Yeah. It's because everything is inside the garment. You put mm -hmm. it on, you're ready to go. Uh, what about the elements? wearing these out in the elements. The elements, uh, we were having a conversation. Good question. Me, yeah, yeah, me and Ms. Tanya said, what do I do with the rain? Yeah. Nothing is ever gonna happen because what I do, the paint solidifies, the tackiness, it's already embedded into the leather. Oh. It. For it to, the, the paint to remove, you have to be swimming and even yeah. then it still won't come off. Well, this leather. one might do that at her children's so then, swim lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He hasn't promised me I could take it home yet. But at the art show in November, people can, I mean, it's like you're buying a piece of art. Oh, it's, but it's so it's cool. Clothing. Wow. Yeah. So it's wearable art. I want a new experience. And if, let's say, we already have more than one person here, it becomes an installation. Mm -hmm. So the the dynamic, the uh, the door that's open, is it's huge. It's vast. I can mm -hmm. name whatever I want on this because it's never been done before. There's no... Uh, specific terminology of what this is. You're not is. following a template of any sort. Exactly. You're creating that. And they're all uh, unique. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. One of one. I don't believe in re repetition of doing the same painting yeah. over and over again. I need yeah. to test myself. So historical, uh, historical artists, examples, just Gustav Klimt, Ron, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Just Thanks. really incredible. Remind us one more time. November 2nd, I believe, was the It's the Saturday, date. November 2nd at Red Bud Art Center in the Historic Heights neighborhood. Okay. And yes. it's free and open to the public, so we welcome everybody to join us. Yes. And the reception is from 6 to 9 p.m. Okay. Well, and it, very yeah. cool. Go on out, admire, learn, yes. right, and embrace. Yes. We so much appreciate you guys stopping by. Carl, Tanya. Thank Amy. you, Zach. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much.